So first of all, why is direct sales the most effective type? Doesn't really make sense, right? So a lot of people think that, you know, internet marketing or television marketing, radio, newspaper, all these things are better than direct sales. By direct sales today, I just mean selling face to face, selling in person. But I think better is a very loose term. I would say some of these things are more efficient, but none of them are as effective as direct sales. And I'm going to go through a list of order of effectiveness in sales from lowest to highest. Internet marketing is the lowest. And don't get me wrong here, internet marketing is by far the most efficient way of doing marketing. I mean, you could build a website that stays up for years and years and years and makes many, many sales every single day. And it takes you no time to maintain that website. But it's only really going to convert maybe 1 in 100 people, maybe even less, 1 in 200, 1 in 500 maybe. So it's not very effective at all. In front of internet marketing, we have movie trailers and toilet doors. These are more effective because they are forced brand impressions. What else are you going to look at? This is a forced brand impression, just like um, a trailer at the beginning of a movie in a cinema. You're not really going to turn around and look at the back wall. You're going to watch this brand impression. So it is more effective than internet marketing. Less efficient because we're getting a lot less people to look at it, but more effective because we're getting more of a brand impression. Even more effective than that would be something like skywriting, where it's branding with a novelty. You don't see skywriting every day, so when you do, you look at it. So in front of skywriting, we have TV, radio, and newspapers. This is where you get multiple brand impressions over time. So if I was to take out a 12-month ad in some magazine, newspaper, TV, or radio, somebody's going to see that many, many times, and research suggests that it takes about 12 brand impressions before you are affected by an advertisement. So that's where TV, radio, and paper have that advantage. In front of that, I'm going to put social media, mostly because it's the same thing. You have multiple brand impressions here, but it doesn't cost you anything. If I have a Facebook page and you like that, I can send you messages for the rest of your life, and it's not going to cost me any money. In front of social media, we have email marketing, and I'm really talking about direct response emotional copy here, not like a catalog or something like that. Catalogs are crap. They don't work. But direct response emotional copy does work, and that's where email marketing really does beat social media. Because you're more likely to read an email I send you than you are to see something I post on a Facebook page, or any social media, right? And what's better than email marketing? Well, direct mail. So if I send the same letter I would through an email marketing campaign, but I send it to your letterbox at your house, you are much, much more likely to open it. And again, I'm only talking about direct response to emotional copy. You're probably not going to open a catalog or some something that's obviously branding or advertising. Point of why I'm doing all of this is the next one, which is phone calls. Why is a phone call more powerful than anything else we have mentioned? Well, because of objection handling. So when I'm on the phone to you, selling something to you, I can go through my script or I can, you know, read off some benefits of my product. And then you might say, oh, I don't know about that. Or you might say, oh, this is expensive. Or you might hit me up with an objection. Over the phone, I can handle that objection. And I can hear the tonality in your voice. I can hear how the sales pitch is going. And I can adapt my script accordingly. Now, what beats a phone call here? This is what we do, guys. Direct sales, man. Direct sales, hands down, beats any other form of marketing I've mentioned here when we're talking about effectiveness. So if you're in door-to-door -door sales or direct sales or appointment sales, you know that you're going to convert a lot more people than you would with any previous thing we've mentioned. A good email marketing campaign might convert one in 50, one in 80, but in direct sales, we can really work on ourselves, get totally skilled up, and now we can convert maybe one in two, one in three, one in four, one in five, something like that. And nothing beats that. Actually, I take that back. One thing does beat that, but it is still direct sales and that is personal appointments. So if I was to build rapport with somebody and then take them out to dinner, and this was a business appointment, but it was very personal and we're both cool and we get along, and we have maybe a bottle of wine, a couple of bottles of wines, you know how it can be. Well, that is the easiest way to convert somebody into a sale. So this is just a list of really the order of effectiveness in sales lowest to highest. So this is why we're in direct sales, and the whole point of why I bring this up is because Objection handling is everything. If you know how to handle objections, you can close a lot more sales, make a lot more money, and be a lot more effective than any of these other types of marketing.